everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video, I am testing out all the new makeup that I got from my Sephora haul. That a bunch of it was on sale and I really wanted to test it out for you guys. So today's video is also a wear test. And I also threw in a couple other products that just launched that I got in a PR haul that I just kind of want to try out as well. So you guys have some bonus products in here too. So let's go ahead and get into testing out this new makeup and wear test. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna be trying out is this beautiful beauty blender that I had to buy. This was the reason for the entire Sephora haul that I did. And it's because it's, dude, teal, like Tiffany blue. This is perfect. This screams me. So I really wanna try this out, but I am gonna do my foundation my normal way of doing it. So what I do is I usually take a brush. The one that I'm using today is the Pro Flawless Airbrush, and this is the number 56 one. And I'm just gonna take it with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus in the shade 35. It's a little bit darker, but my shade 30 ran out. So I'm gonna be ordering a new one, and luckily I'm wearing a long sleeve so you can't tell. But I'm just gonna be applying this on my face. Then I'm gonna blend out those brush strokes with the Beauty Blender, and then we're also going to go in with the NARS concealer and I'm gonna blend that out with the Beauty Blender as well. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Too Faced Ethereal. I think I said it right now. Ethereal? I really hope I said that right. I say ethereal, but I think it's ethereal, and I always say it wrong. I'm taking this Too Faced powder. Let's go ahead and use the Beauty Blender for this. So we'll do, I usually use my Sigma brush because I love it, but since we're trying out this Beauty Blender, let's just bake with this little guy and see how that goes. Really press that powder into the skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that bake a little bit, do my eyebrows and I'll come back and we're gonna dust this Sephora Colorful Powder, the one that I showed in the video that I'm really not that impressed with to be honest. This is the Serene Number no. 20. It's Illuminator Highlighter. And I know that people are saying it's supposed to be like a setting powder and stuff, but, and it's supposed to have like a sheen to it, kind of like the Hourglass, but really, there's like no sheen in there. It's like a matte powder. It's no, don't say it's a highlighter. It's not a highlighter. It's just a powder to be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to set the rest of my face and sweep away that baking powder when I get back after I do my brows real quick. So I'll be right back. Now let's go ahead and try out this powder. This is one thing that I like to do. I like to take a setting powder like this. Well, this is supposed to be a highlighter, but I like to take a setting powder and I like to use it to sweep away my baking because it adds just a little bit more extra coverage and it looks really pretty. I'm also gonna use it to set the rest of my face. All right, so honestly that powder, I mean, it it's nothing spectacular to be honest. I think it's kind of a dud. And then also what I noticed is that it's forming like a layer on top. Like I forgot what that's called. It's called something, there's, there's a term for it and it's forming like a hard layer on top to where it's hard to pick up the product but I don't know. This is a dead, don't waste your money on it. I don't know why that had so many stars. All right, so you guys are zoomed in now because we're gonna try out the House of Lashes and Sephora collection, the Secret Garden palette. But first I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with this new Tarte Shape Tape. This is an eye primer. Look how cool this thing is. So I saw this, I was like, dude, we have to do eyeshadow anyway, so let's just try out this primer on camera as well. So I'm just going to, oh, I like how moisturizing this is. It like glides on. It's not like dry on my lids. I love that. I hate it when primers are like really dry on my lids because I have more wrinkly eyelids that are a little bit on the drier side. So they tend to just look gross if I put like a really drying eyeshadow primer on. And this one's actually really moisturizing and creamy. So if you have oily eyelids, you won't like this. I suggest the NARS one. The NARS one is just like, I've been trying to use it, but my eyelids are just too dry for it. So it doesn't look great on me, but if you have oily eyelids, that's a good one. But if you have dry eyelids like me, so far this one looks good. But first we have to see how eyeshadow applies on it. And then we also have to see how it wears. So let's put it to the test today. All right, so I took the palette out right here. I'm gonna set my lid with this shade just to set that primer 
to allow everything to move around easily or to blend. All right, so like I said, when I hauled this, this shadow is just calling my name. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that into my crease. I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. I don't know what shade I'm gonna do below it, but I just really wanna use that color. <laughs> So I'm just going to blend this into my crease using my Smith 232 brush. This is like one of my new favorite brushes for crease blending. I have not played with blues in a really long time. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I'm just going to pack it onto the lid with my E54 brush and see how this goes. <laughs> I am very impressed with that shade. That was really easy to pack on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this cooler tone brown shade and I'm gonna place this on the outer corner and into the crease, I think. All right, so I'm like playing with color schemes on my hand right now. So I think I'm gonna go into this cool tone brown. I'm going to place this on the outer portion of the eye and kind of work it into the crease, but I just need to create some definition right there. I'm gonna use my Delium Tools 776 brush. I feel like we need to add a little bit more of a deeper color. You know what? I'm gonna go into this one. We're just gonna wing this. If it doesn't turn out good, then it doesn't turn out good, but we're just trying out these shadows. So I'm gonna go into this plum shade right here in that same brush, and I'm gonna keep this on closer to the outer corner so that way you can still see that gradient of the softer transition shade. All right, so that's not that bad at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a wing and my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so real quick, I'm back a little early. I wanted to try out this new mascara from Benefit, the Bad Gal Bang. This like is making my eyelashes clump so bad. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, I feel like they're clumping so bad. They're like making it like spider lashes. What is up? Like first, when I first applied, I was like, oh, this is so nice. It's like nice and wet and black, but it, they're clumping so bad. I'm gonna try this other side real quick. I think you just have to apply very little amounts. You cannot apply too much. They're just, it's just clumping. It's like, I need a brush to like brush through it right now. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I went ahead and just did like the same colors corresponding on the bottom of the eyes and I used my Maybelline mascara. First impression of this mascara, not a fan. It made my lashes very clumpy. Like it clumped them together and they looked like spider legs. Like it was not cute. I've never had a mascara really clump my lashes like that. I'm gonna keep trying it out and I will let you guys know my further thoughts on it in my February Dopes and Nopes. But right now, it made my lashes very, very clumpy. It wasn't cute. So the eyeshadow palette is actually really, really pretty. The colors are beautiful. They were easy to use. I was very impressed with these eyeshadows. They were easy to blend. They're pigmented. They're very just like, I don't know. They're just beautiful shadows. So very impressed with this one. Um, good job, Sephora and House of Lashes. This was a beautiful palette and I can't wait to try out more of the color. I really wanna use this shade right here. I think that one would be beautiful. There's so many pretty shades in this palette. All right, so Jouer also came out with beautiful blushes and this is one of my favorite one. This is the Adore Blush Duo right here. I like to mix the two, one's matte and one's a little bit of shimmer, but I'm just gonna pop this on my cheeks real quick. I don't have a blush that, I didn't purchase a blush, but I wanted to show you guys this one because I really, really like these. These go on beautifully on the skin. For highlight, we're gonna try out the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter, and this one is Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. So I'm just gonna use my Sigma Strobing Fan Brush. It's the F42. It's one of my favorite brushes for highlight. I'm just gonna apply this on top of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Oh, that's pretty. This is so pretty. And what I also like to do is I like to take my beauty blender and just blend it out so that way it's not like a strip of highlight. But that one is gorgeous. Again, it's called Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. It's very, very wearable and really, really beautiful. So I love this. I don't know why those haven't been talked about much before. I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about them but those are beautiful. Now for a lip color. So I'm kind of going back and forth because I did buy a few different lip products. So I got the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. This is that lip lacquer. And then I also got these Bite Beauty little ones. And then I got the Bite Beauty pencil. 
I actually think the pencil might be our best bet to go with this look, so I'm gonna use this one today. All right, so there's the lip color. I think it went beautifully with this look because it matches that transition shade that we used, and I think this is a really cool look. I don't think I've ever created a look like this on my channel, so this is fun. We tried something new, we stepped out of the comfort zone. But yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed with a lot of the products that I purchased from the sale section. I have to say the only one that I'm not impressed with is this one right here. You guys saw it in the video too. And I got a lot of your guys' like comments talking about like it's supposed to be just like a kind of a sheen, like a setting powder that has a little bit of sheen, like the hourglass ones, but those are way better than this. And plus it's getting like a film. That's what it is. It's getting like a film over it when I was using it. So that's a dud, I would pass on that, but I'm very impressed with the House of Lashes palette. It is beautiful, it was easy to use. I love the Bite Beauty lip pencils, of course. I love those ones. The Becca highlighters were beautiful. And also this new color of Beauty Blender was really nice too. So I don't really feel much of a difference from my black one. I feel like my black one might be a little bit more dense. This one might be a little bit more airy, but it did the job. It, did a great job. Also, so far so good on the Tarte Shape Tape for the eyeshadow primer. We're gonna see how that holds up the eye look. And I think I covered everything that I tried out, but I'm also going to be trying out this blotting powder later on in the day and seeing how this looks. Remember how I was thinking it might be a little chalky? So we're gonna try that out. I'm gonna hold out for a little bit, um, get some other work done, and then come back and we'll test this out and close out the video. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I am back with all my oils right now. I actually just took a nap. Um, I was so tired, but it is 5.05. .05, so it's been about four hours since I last like saw you guys, since you last saw me in this face. So we're gonna test out this blot party because we have so many oils here right now. So let me get this out of the packaging. All right, again, this is what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and use my own brush for it. They have blotting sheets in here too. Should we try out the blotting sheets? Let's try out the blotting sheets and then do the blotting powder on top of it. So you get, oh, they're a little bit longer than what I thought. They're about that long. They're not like a full square, but let's try this out real quick. I feel good. All right, so the blotting sheets worked out pretty well. Didn't remove any of my makeup. Now we're gonna go into that blotting powder to reset. This is a way, like this truly helps keep your face matte longer. If you go in with a blotting powder instead of a blotting sheet first, then that oil's gonna come back even quicker and even more. Trust me, I've learned this. So you just take the blotting powder and you just press it on the face. Also forgot to show you guys the blotting paper. This is what it looked like. That there. It's so pretty. <laughs> that actually does not look bad at all. I thought it was gonna look chalky on my face, but it doesn't. It literally just mattified everything. So this is a dope. This is definitely a dope. I actually really like that. And you know what? The blotting sheet, you probably will run through more more frequently because they are smaller. But it's really cute, but you know what? The brush is probably a no-go for me. But this actually worked. I really like how matte it made my face. I prefer a matte face with a little bit of glow right here. That's just my preference. But um, yeah, it really made me matte. So that ended up working out. And also kind of going into everything else, like wear test wise, this came off right away because I ate lunch and these usually don't last very long. But what I like about them is that when they do wear off, they wear off really easily and gracefully. They don't wear off weird. So that's why I really like these and they're really easy to reapply and they're moisturizing on your lips. So that I definitely recommend. The eyeshadow actually held up really well too, if you guys can see it. So it looks like the eyeshadow primer and the eyeshadow palette worked out beautifully. The highlighter is still glowing on my face right now too, which is awesome. Um, and I think that covered everything. I mean, the blush and my bronzer, you guys know which one I usually use. I usually use my Marc Jacobs bronzer and then I use this Jouer blush, which I think is gorgeous on the face. But other than that, I think everything held up pretty well. I am gonna go ahead and wrap up this video I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that it was helpful for you guys to see what worked and what didn't work and what you would want to get your hands on. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys in my next video.